Hi YouTube, this is Black Hawk Pictures 13 and Bright Light Films here with you to uh, show you how to mod your Nerf Recon CS6. Uh, now, we've already unscrewed the gun, so you might want to pause this and take the time to do it. Um, we've already modded an old one, which is mine, but watch the arm and the sound. Just goes to show you. Say when you first look at this video, I don't, I don't want to listen to two little kids. Trust us, you do. Okay. It works. It works. Uh, the materials needed are a long extension screwdriver. Yep. And a drill. Any kind of drill. With a very long extension. Yes. Ours wasn't long enough, but we still got it. And uh, a screwdriver to fit your screws. And a recon, old or nail, and one dart. Okay, this is our uh, new camera view. Now, uh, we have already unscrewed the gun. Now, just to show you a couple things, there are two extra screws, one here and one here. Make now, sure you get if you move the slider back, there's also another screw. So, uh, so what you want to do is first slide the back off and then pull. This is what the one half looks like right here. That is what the other half looks like. So you got this in front of you. Okay. Now, now this is a uh, older recon or a newer, newer one. So this arm, if you have an older one, which means the arm comes out and you can see it, uh, it'll look a bit different. But just forget about that. The arm, you don't really need to screw with it anyway. Now, uh, so um, just what you want to do, we'll teach you to take everything apart or put everything back together. Just take just the, take everything. All the pieces out. This Here is where you do the air restrictor mod. Yep. If you look down there, you can see the air restrictor. Right in there, there's a little that little knob type thing. If you want to get that out, and if you look through here, there's a little circle. Now, now, here's where your drill comes in. In there, there's a little guard. I don't really know. It's probably to prevent the air restrictor mod. So what you want to do is take your drill. Get in there. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. And drill. drill. And stop. Now, this should come off on your drill. That's the guard. Yep. Right there. It should be just a little piece. Now, this is what your air restrictor should look like right now. There should be an even bigger hole. Now, what you want to do is take your drill, do the same thing but on the front side. So right here, and be very careful. You only want to get that little stick out. So drill slow, go a bit fast. Stop. You want to take it out. If the stick still isn't out, you're going to want to drill a little bit more. Good. That stick should fall out. Right there. That is a little bit of the air restrictor. Now here's where your long screwdriver comes in handy. This is just to weaken the air restrictor. Now what you do is you take this, Stick it in. It should have some sort of point. It can be a Phillips or like that kind of point. Doesn't matter. And, uh, so what you do is you pretty much bang it. Bang it till your heart desires. Now, uh, if after you bang it a few times, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there will be dents. Those are okay. Next, you're going to want to try and draw out most of what you can get of the air restrictor. So. I'm through with standing in line. The clubs are never getting. It's like the bottom of the ninth. And I'm never going to win this. Life hasn't turned out quite the way I want it to be. Tell me what you want. I want a brand new on an episode of Cribs. And a bathroom I can play baseball in. And a king size tub big enough for ten plus me. A credit card that's got no limit And a big black chair with a bedroom in it Gonna join the Mile High Club at 37,000 feet Been done that. I want a new tour bus full of old guitars My star on Hollywood Boulevard Somewhere between Cher and James Dean is fine for me So how you gonna do it? I'm gonna trade this life for fortune and fame Change my name Cause we all just don't wanna be big rock stars and living in
after a while of drilling, we got it. As you can see, there's a hole. Now, uh, we need a little bit of a mistake, but as long as there's room for the dart to hold, it'll be it'll fine. It'll work. Right there, it's just a little bit of a crack, which uh, I don't think we should use glue, because then if the glue dries and it's out, it won't fit. So we're just going to try and put the gun back together as it is now. So uh, let's put your gun back together. First, you're going to want to take this. Where did this come from? It's right there. Okay. First, you take this, and then you just put it in. You slide it back. Then, you're going to want to align this hole, that little hole, with that. Okay. So all you gotta do is just align it up. First, you're gonna want to take this out, though, this little piece. So yeah, then you just put that in and slide it forward. Then you just click. Clicking is good. Next, you're gonna want to take this, take it, put it in right there. Yep. Just fit it in. Make sure it's lined up with that. Next. You're going to want to take your trigger and slide it in right there, okay? And then push your spring down and line it up like that. Next, you're going to want to take your trigger lock. You don't have to have this, but you can keep it if you want the trigger to always be locked. But, uh, you can throw this away. if. You want to be able to, uh, when you slide it forward, to be able to take the clip out, even though you still have to rip it out. It won't hurt it. But so we're going to put it back in. Yep. That should be how it goes. Another short and simple mod is when the spring goes on the arm. But what you want to do is stretch it out a little bit. That'll help. That will help maybe take three minutes. to five feet of range. And trust me, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it is. And then you take it. Take your arm, even though some arms may be a bit bigger. Because of the older, new version. Depends on which one you have. Then you're going to want to take this, slide it on. Then what you do is you line it up like that. And then you make sure that that little square lines up with, or goes towards the bottom of the gun. So then you just slide it back onto the tube, and then you slide it in, and then you make sure, if you can see that, that little switch right there, you make sure that it's pushing it down. And then you take this, it's right here, this, and then you push the spring in, and then you line it up so it's good. Now uh, that is basically all the parts of the gun. We're going to cut it out and re um, screw everything back in. We'll meet you at the firing test. Yep.